is the Sima Ver Contra Simo Venta Contra. Well, whatever. This is the V Para, an auto loading tank destroyer. Well, sort of auto loading. I mean, not exactly. And not exactly a TD either. But it has a rotating turret, which uh, rotates somewhat. It also has armor, but not always. Anyway, let's just think of it as Schrodinger's vehicle and find out what it's all about. This vehicle rolls. To be more precise, it doesn't move in a hurry. With a power to weight ratio of 11.7 horsepower per ton, this 50 ton Italian accelerates up to 30 kilometers an hour. That's more than enough speed to make it to the heavy tank flank before the start of the skirmish. On smaller maps, you can even reach the far flanks, like the castle on Himmelsdorf, the town on Lakeville, or the railroad on Live Oaks. You'll a bit late to the fight, sure, but you'll be perfectly positioned for the heat of the action. But it's important to not stop, because every bush on your way will entice the Vipera to nestle in it for added concealment. And if you do decide to give in, get ready. That was a shed. And that was your ally's hull. And that was the only person in the game. Looking at its characteristics, it's clear that the Vipera is a wannabe stormtrooper from a famous saga. Dispersion is 0.44, aiming time is 3 seconds. With these kinds of stats, you'll hit the enemy, but likely miss their weak spots. So, you can stand in the bushes, but you won't be much use and you'd be wasting your impressive armor. Yes, there's armor indeed. 300 millimeters in the turret, 270 millimeters here, and 270 here. That's a decent Italian monolith, even without a commander's cupola. The armor is weakest in the lower part of the lower glasses plate. The very lowest part, almost at the bottom. This slope on the roof, too. Even at close range, they're hard to hit. But from long range, it's almost impossible. And the armor is perfectly capable of handling the standard shells of same tier vehicles. Still, the v Paris armor is kind of an enigma. Higher tiered tanks can penetrate its upper glasses with standard shells. And if special shells are fired, the turret might get pierced as well. It's hard to deflect shells confidently when you're at the bottom of the list. But it's possible if you think outside the box. For example, use the terrain. The vehicle has an excellent negative 10 degrees of gun depression. You just need to find a small hill or pile of debris, then that's it. Even special shells won't help your opponents now. And remember that the turret rotates. It looks like this. Skeptics will say this is Photoshop or edited, but no, it really rotates 90 degrees, 45 degrees to each side. Here's what you need to do. Turn the turret as far to the side as possible. Roll out from behind a corner, deflect a shell from a menacing tier 10 tank, fire, and roll back to cover. Just don't get the steps mixed up. First roll out, then shoot. To make your attack as smooth as possible, first, try to not roll out too much and expose your front wheel. Even Tier 7 vehicles will penetrate you easily there. Secondly, only expose your front. Don't take any risks from the side. After all, the little slopes on the armor will prevent you from deflecting shells efficiently. So you'll need some geometry knowledge to survive a face-off with a Tier 9 or 10. But the Vipera will be able to withstand hits from Tier 8 tanks and lower without a problem. 
Shooting is where things get really interesting. Sure, the Vipera has an auto loader in name. It deals five shells with 400 HP of damage per shot, takes 36 seconds to reload the magazine, and has a reload time of... six seconds between shots. Yeah, this isn't your typical auto loader. That's why you need to start firing, and most importantly, thinking like a regular cyclic tank. A good cyclic tank. No, an excellent cyclic tank. Let's put it to the test so you can see for yourself. A regular classic duel. Let's find a few opponents with similar damage per shot and excellent damage per minute. It all becomes clear from the first shots. Sure, a few of the opponents gave us some trouble, but they were defeated nonetheless. At the same time, if you equip the Vipera with improved hardening, it can handle most opponents. Even if they're equipped for maximum DPM, just make sure to penetrate them with every shot. The opponents never stood a chance. And that's all thanks to our Italian's amazing autoloader. In 24 seconds, it dishes out as many as 2,000 HP of damage. Nothing gets in its way. Not artillery stun, not a damaged ammo rack, and not even injured crew members. It's always six seconds between the shots. So you can be sure that any Tier 8 vehicle is a potential frag to your scoreboard. Even in regular fights, with enemies ducking behind cover and hiding from your auto loader but not, the vehicle will play just as comfortably and have the same advantages. You fire several warning shots. The opponents are caving in, so you reset your clip and initiate the advance after its reload. 36 seconds is just enough time to decide on your tactics, change position, and reach your full potential. There are several ways to equip your Vipera. The most universal option would be with improved aiming, improved ventilation, and improved hardening. If you have a need for speed, use the turbocharger instead of improved aiming. But if you want to have the most accurate Vipera in the Wild West, choose improved aiming, ventilation, and the enhanced gun layering drive. It's always better to have two equipment sets to switch between. That's where your field modification will come in. The bonus to stabilization or parallax adjustment for better accuracy can also help you out here. The Vipera is a vehicle of contradictions. It doesn't have much in the way of dynamics, but they're enough. It has excellent armor, but with some limitations. And finally, it has a strange but excellent autoloader that doesn't look like an autoloader at all. But even in this duality, there's still one undeniable fact. The Vipera is an unusual vehicle that's sure to bring unusual experiences. And if that's what you like, this new Italian is the tank for you.